For a graduate student, having options is everything. PIBS is an umbrella program that houses 14 different departments and they take care of you as a graduate student for your first year. During that first year, you're taking classes, but you're also rotating to find the lab that you're gonna do your thesis work in. Every faculty member has a different style. And that's why we ask students to do at least three rotations, so they can make sure that the style of that faculty member is appropriate for them. I was in my second year and preparing to give my uh, department seminar, and the current director of PIBS, Lori, said, you know, we see the difficulties that you're having. We really think you should consider changing laboratories. PIBS then said, we'll take you back on as a PIBS student and you can um, continue rotating for a few months until you find a new lab. I began re-rotating and found the Nagy lab and that's where I am now. They're really free agents when they come into PIBS and they can go in all of our 14 programs, test all of our 500 laboratories, and one third of the class on average every year goes into a different program than they originally thought they would go. My current situation is just, it's great. I love my lab and I like my mentor's style of mentoring. She's just very open personality, door is always open, come talk to me anytime. At the same time, she also keeps us focused and makes sure you know, that we're on target doing what we need to do. So they come to us and they want to be scientists. They're not really sure what's gonna happen, how they're gonna get there. So we wanna give them all that opportunity to learn what's out there, what are the possibilities, and then give them all of the skills they need to reach that goal, whatever it is. The PIPS program just is everything wrapped into one. Good academic departments, it's friendly people, it's a support network. It gives me everything I needed to start my graduate career off the correct way and let me not have to worry about certain things so that I could focus on my research and ultimately getting my PhD. All of the people that I rotated with had very different styles of mentoring, and I think I was most comfortable in the environment that Patrick and I have um, with kind of this relaxed, more laid back mentoring. I, I like to give my students a lot of leeway. Um, I like to give them the freedom to really to experiment, and that comes uh, largely from my own personal experiences because I found that I learned things best if I was given the opportunity to screw up once or twice and learn from those uh, mistakes. My PI and I kind of shape our project. He has a lot of great ideas for big questions that need to be answered and then collectively we figure out how we're going to approach that, break it down into smaller, more manageable questions that we can actually experimentally answer. When it comes to actually doing the science and carrying out the experiments, I rely a lot on the people around me. There's some great graduate students around, more senior students that are really good to help me with the technical problems that I run into. It's definitely a very teamwork-based thing. Um, if it was just me by myself, I'd never be able to get a paper out or get anything done. So we all kind of rely on each other. I kind of laugh at myself when I was starting of like how little I knew about the systems I was working in and the things I was doing. Obviously, at the outset, uh, for beginning graduate students, there, there's necessarily uh, more of a mentor-mentee type of relationship. But I would say at this stage, I don't necessarily talk to Katie specifically about her experiments every day. My door is always open, and so she's free to come in either if she wants to show me an exciting result or if she's having some difficulty with troubleshooting and, and wants some advice. And it is very exciting 
you know, to see her develop scientifically because, you know, she, she actually frequently comes up with great ideas for experiments that I hadn't thought of. Uh, and, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to see that happen over time. You don't even think that a university this size really exists. I mean, it's, it's a huge name in biomedical research. No one comes into graduate school knowing exactly what they want to do. I had a general idea. Having studied immunology before, I thought it was really exciting. 95% of my friends came in not knowing what they wanted to study. And I mean, while I had a fairly good idea, I made sure that I rotated in a bunch of other labs that were doing translational research. The flexibility allowed me to sort of validate what I thought I wanted to do. I found that the research among my colleagues here is really top notch. We have a world-class hospital, a world-class medical school, and a world-class undergraduate institution. That provides amazing synergy in terms of health-related research. Um, the type of research that was going on here was very important, so I looked for some place that was doing translational research, which means you can do something in the lab, and if you have good results, you can talk to a clinician about applying it to a clinical trial. Interested students need to know that Michigan is a top-tier institution and is simply a marvelous place to train with opportunities that arguably are unparalleled anywhere in the country. It's definitely not a sink or swim kind of place and I think most of the faculty feel the same way. It's actually a really good combination. It's politics are minimal, the collaboration is high, uh, the support is really good. The faculty enjoy working with each other and realize that, that research doesn't occur in a vacuum. So if there's anything that you don't know or if there's something you, a technique you need to learn, they'll know somebody who can, who will welcome you into their lab and teach you. To have a, a program like PIBS that encumbers all of our incoming students provides an unbelievable platform uh, of talent. PIB's program is really great because it's a pool of fantastic students that um, I can recruit to my lab and that's the way most faculty feel about it. The success of any faculty on campus sits squarely on the shoulders of the students that we have in our laboratory. I always have somebody to go to, I always have a resource, and not only help me with my research, but help me with my life outside of the lab. I'm about two months away from graduating from the University of Michigan. Currently, I'm writing my thesis. A good thing to know about Ann Arbor is it's a very, very safe town. Uh, there's very little crime. So one of the big concerns that people have when they come from a larger city like New York or Chicago is that, you know, Ann Arbor is such a small town, there's nothing going on. Yeah, it is a small town, but it's a very diverse community. You have people from all over the place, not just all over the United States, but all over the world. The Great Lakes are only a few hours drive away. Um, there's a vibrant Main Street scene. It's important to live in a place where you can have a balanced life. Research isn't always a smooth path and when things go wrong in the lab if you have nothing else to fall back on you'll just be unhappy and more likely to quit. The good thing about Ann Arbor, the University of Michigan, the PIBS program, the size of it and the number of friends that you can make in it is that you have a whole life outside the lab to cushion and buffer and support the life that you have inside the lab. You have things that come to Ann Arbor that don't normally come to towns that size. For example, you have the Royal Shakespeare Company. You have uh, music from all over the world come and play at Hill Auditorium on campus. There's a lot of intramural sports. There's obviously Division I athletics. There is the Huron River that provides a lot of opportunities for fishing, canoeing, just running next to it. 
Um, there's lots of great gyms. It's a very active and healthy community. There's always people out running, playing ultimate frisbee, you know, swimming, doing all sorts of things that make your time here outside of lab you know, very appealing and very fun. You know, success breeds success, and if you want to be successful and you want to do things that are, are great and people are going to notice, you want to come to the University of Michigan, you want to be part of that. It's such a, just a great place to be a young person in, and it's just, to me, it's home, it's trees, it's outside, it's friendly people, it's good food, and most importantly, it's the University of Michigan and everything it has to offer.